Hi everyone. Um, it's Val with Dragonfly Crystals back with another ascent. Well, it's not an ascended master message, but you might as well be because to me, he's like an ascended master. That's John R. Lewis, who was an American politician and civil rights activist who served in the United States House of Representatives for Georgia's 5th Congressional District from 1987 until his death in 2020. Uh, he had great wisdom that he shared while he was on the planet. And I was really honored to receive a message from him. And I wanted to share it with all of you um, because it's just, it's beautiful. Um, and I'm so thankful he came through to me. Hi, Lori. <laughs> I'm surprised. I just popped on here. Lori, um, this is a message from uh, John R. Lewis. And as you know, he was a civil rights activist and a politician. And he certainly has something to say right now with everything that's been going on. Uh, hi, Lauren. Uh, me too. I love him too. Absolutely. I was so excited to get this message from him. And <clears throat> I kind of felt him coming in um, for a few days. I didn't call him in. He actually had something he wanted to say. So I was so excited and happy to receive this message. And um, <clears throat> I'll start with his message. Let me clear my throat a little. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, uh, begin transmission. This is John Lewis, and I have a message for all of you. Remember who you are in your hearts as you look deeply in the mirror each day. For the measure of a soul is in the energy sent out to others. So, beloved, please send beautiful energy out to your fellow man. We see no difference between spirits here on the other side. We are one. We are loved. And we love. The earth is going through some unrest, but rest assured, all is well. And all is as planned. The result is hard to see from your perspective. <clears throat> but in fact, Earth will be the most beautiful, peaceful planet in the not too distant future. So be happy and at peace with the energy you are sending out uh, that the energy you are sending out is making a tremendous shift in humanity. So be happy and at peace that the energy you are sending out is making a tremendous shift in humanity. At this time, the lower vibrations on the planet are raising up slowly. And even at that level, they are changing. You will see fewer and fewer people who jump on the bandwagon of separation. Even if the news tells you otherwise, this is not the true measure of the temperature of humanity. It is my personal pleasure and honor to reside on a council of light here in this realm. And we are assisting lawmakers and mankind to make better choices for Earth's future. I can say that as a planet, Earth has overcome many major calamities. Even the rains in California have proven a bit of trouble, yet have replenished resources. Little by little, you will see changes for the better as Earth heals. This is not to say that some earth shifts won't happen, but rather many have been mitigated. 
We are very pleased here in this realm. Keep up the good work. Remember, you are more powerful than you yet realize. You are going to create the golden age upon earth. I'm here to witness this from the other realm, yet I have a great seat and I am cheering you on. The drama occurring now that appears to be sliding backwards on civil liberties is only temporary. Know this, beloveds. The light will love everything to oneness. Peace will reign. You will live in harmony and peace will be worldwide. Small pockets of grumbling may continue, but no one will pay any mind to them. They have no power any longer, and they too will raise in frequency in their own timing. This is a message of hope, love, and faith that your good works will bring the world out of an era of trouble and that your good energy is the reason. Please continue with love in your hearts. Love those who stir up con the conflicts. Love them by sending them light and the highest frequency and ask that they be enlightened and so shall it be. <clears throat> this, beloveds, is your superpower, and don't ever forget it. Love them, and they will change and shift, for they have no other option. With all the love they are absorbing, it will raise them up. Some may not shift now and may sh wait until later, but they will shift. No love is wasted. So wonderful people, do your energy work and send the light and love. It means everything, even if it's just three seconds a day to the world. I love you all. You're never alone. We are with you. My deepest soul acknowledgement to you all. I am John Lewis. End of transmission. I had to work not to cry. <laughs> I felt his energy. Then I, I was just getting the chills. Such a beautiful soul. Oh my gosh. I'm just, he's amazing. I just could cry. So I pulled the judgment card. 20, number 20. Key words, resurrection and awaken, awakening of the, of the self. So the key is, it brings a higher level of awareness that resurrects one to a new way of thinking. It is a spiritual rebirth, a spiritual awakening. It represents a time when life becomes fresh again and the burdens of limitation from the past break away opening one up to the beauty of universal love and freedom number 20 awakening knowledge power mastery universal service compassion completion and rebirth when the judgment key calls you it is the voice of the divine speaking to you Listen closely to the message. A spiritual revelation or an aha moment will be gifted to you. Old ideas or worn out beliefs are transforming into higher awareness, taking you in a new direction. <laughs> I say this every time. How can we pull these cards and have them be spot on? But, um, Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you all joined me here. <laughs> Again, Lori and Lauren, we're here, girl. Tammy, uh, so great to see you here. Um, thank you for watching. Um, John Lewis holds a special place in my heart, and I know he, he does in yours and so many other people. We really look up to him and respect him for 
the love in his heart and all that he contributed toward the civil rights movement. And he laid his life on the line for that. Um, so <laughs> I could cry. Um, <clears throat> just a powerful soul, powerful soul. And I thank him for sharing that beautiful message. And next I have two messages from uh, Babaji, who is a personal, absolutely per favorite, favorite, favorite teacher of mine. Uh, so Ascended Master Babaji, who is still on the earth, <laughs> but ascended in his you know, mastery, <laughs> but he's next. So, you know, everyone, thank you all. Hug to you, warrior girl, and everyone in the chat. Thank you so much for joining me. It does make me get, um, you know, as I'm reading, I pull that energy in and whew, it's powerful stuff. <laughs> so, Thank you all for watching. I love you all. And in a few minutes, I'll be back on with Ascended Master Babaji. Beautiful messages, two of them from him. See you all. Bye.